Hi you guys. All right. So, let's kick off this video quickly now. This is a short video just to show you guys um the proper way to tie shoelaces, especially those of great oxford shoes like these with a cap toe. Um all right. So first with uh these kind of oxford it's very modern to go with a no no show sock like the ones I have on here. Don't mind the red uh, the, sorry, the green. I actually prefer them to be of a neutral color, but never mind, that's what I have on right now. So, normally what probably most of you guys are doing, right, is you use this kind of method, right, over the thumb, right? This is how most of us have been taught uh, to tie your sh our shoes. And now we have it a little bit squishy here, scrubbly here. And some cases it comes out nice like this, but it's, I mean, uh, you know, it moves around and you probably know it with your own sneakers and stuff. It, 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 it's, it doesn't hold uh, that nice normally. So, what we do, again, from this, let's start, let's start over. Okay, so again, this little tie. Now, instead of going... Over the thumb, we're going on the other side, right? And then put it into the loop, like so, and then tie it, okay? Now, most of you will probably wonder, okay, what, what's the deal here? Well, actually, if you try it a couple of times, you will see that the laces fall neatly, especially on derby shoes, now, uh, and also sneakers. But uh, in the case of Oxford shoes, or Balmoral, if you're American, um, what we do here is we take the laces now, and then we tuck them under. Right? And this is how we get a very clean and elegant look. Now, if you have no-show socks, like I do here, then you can show off a nice tattoo down there, or you can cuff your uh, pants more, it depends. But it all starts from the shoelaces and having a clean look. So that was me for today. See you next time. Bye!